Good morning, guys. Alfonso Gomez, your realtor. I wanted to take a moment and talk to you guys about this crazy hot real estate market and what you should expect as a buyer on how to be more competitive when you're out there shopping for your house. Yes, it is extremely competitive out there. There are a ton of buyers compared to the number of homes. So, you have to be very, very aggressive. Just think about it this way. When there is a low supply of anything and a high demand of the same thing, of course, prices are going to be higher. So you're going to be competing with multiple buyers. There is a ton of frustration. There is a ton of competitive offers. There is a ton of people paying way higher than the average market value way higher than the appraised value. So you as a buyer need to be prepared for this. So know that you number one have to figure out what the home is worth. Of course, if you're working with a real estate professional like me or anybody on our team, you're gonna know, we're gonna do the comparables and let you know what the home is worth. And then you're gonna take that number and you're gonna have to give that number a, a value of how much you like the house. Here's what I mean. If you like the house and you're thinking, well, it'd be kind of nice if I got this house, add five to $10,000 above the asking price or market value. So if a house is worth 500,000, I would suggest to you, if you're mediocre, kind of sort of like the house, yeah, it'd be nice if I got it, it's okay if I don't, then offer 510,000. <clears> if you say, well, this is an okay house, I really do kind of want it. Yeah, I really do kind of want it. I would take it to you, then offer 520000 And if you come to me and say, I absolutely love this house. I don't care what we have to do. I don't know what we need to offer. Then I would tell you, you need to offer 520, 530000 Now, what happens if you remove the appraisal, right? So, or if the appraisal comes in at 510 and you offered 520, well, you have to come out of pocket. You have to come out of pocket to be able to do the purchase. So the loan amount, the banks will lend you 510000 and then you have to pay the difference out of pocket. Unfortunately, that's the way of the market right now. A lot of people are removing the appraisal contingency. What does that mean? That means that no matter what the house appraises for, you're going to buy it. Let's say on that scenario of the $500,000 house, you offered $525,000 and the appraisal comes in at $480,000 for whatever ridiculous reason, right? You thought it was going to be worth, five, or we thought it was going to be worth $500,000, comes in at, the appraisal comes in at four eighty. dollars that's a little bit of a situation there because now the difference between four eighty dollars and $525,000 is uh, $35,000, $45,000. And if you remove the appraisal contingency, this means you have to fork out $45,000. Now, if it was a house that you absolutely love and you have the money to do it, good for you. But if you don't, that could be a problem. So these are things that you have to take in consideration. Bottom line is majority of homes, majority of homes are selling above the asking price. So when you're out there shopping, remember, you are probably not going to pay the asking price. The chances are this small that you're going to pay the asking price. You're going to probably end up paying way more than the asking price. So be ready when you're out there in the market. If you have any questions about submitting offers, if you're getting frustrated because your offers are not getting accepted, on average, home buyers are taking six to nine months to find their home. Our team and myself are getting people into homes within 30 to 45 days. I'm talking offers accepted. I'm not saying the deal closes, but just FYI, we have a great track record of getting people's offers accepted. Give me a call. Send me a message. I'd love to help you. If you're working with an agent, good. Keep doing that. Work with a professional. If you ever want a second opinion, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to give you my thoughts. Alfonso Gomez, your realtor. Looking forward to closing my next deal with you.